Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hello, I'm Adam McIntyre, and I am joined by Julie Bullock, who just preached part two of our Transform series about surrender versus obedience in our giving. Julie, thanks so much for being here with us. Uh, we have a few questions that have come in uh, in our postscript uh, texting and whatnot. And so the first question is actually, it's a little off topic, uh, but after looking at it, you said you wanted to address it. And so uh, someone texted saying, a couple years ago, a slide was presented showing how much goes outside the doors of the church uh, in relation to giving. Is there any way to show that number again? Is there any way that they can know how much goes outside of the doors of the church? Yeah, that's, a, that's such a great question, and I'm I'm sure Ken and others uh, will will definitely address that with the actuals with uh, with all of the breakdown. That's a great question, but I want I wanted to say this if this is encouraging. I think often, and I've spent some time with uh, with Faith Bridges finances, and I will tell you um, there is not a dollar that gets wasted here. And uh, sometimes it feels like duct tape in a dream. Even uh, there's just a lot of uh, stewardship and thought that goes into that. And but here's here's what I will say about the internal dollars versus the external dollars. While there are there is a significant chunk mm -hmm. of the dollars that come in that go outside of the doors of, of Faith Bridge. Um, I fully believe that every dollar is missional. And so even the transformation that happens of marriage reconciliation and, and children finding their way um, uh, to Christ and and just even the preaching of the gospel each week and the what we're doing right now, I mean, all the dollars that go into each bit of ministry at FaithBridge, um, we, we wouldn't be doing them if they weren't missional. Right. And so if that's helpful, even as we think about that external, um, internal split, um, it really, they're all 100% um, missional dollars. But it is such a great question. And I know Ken will want to provide soon a, a breakdown of that. Absolutely. Well, and it is helpful to know, uh, while we might not know right now the specific figures for what exactly goes out, mm -hmm. we do know that every single dollar goes towards our mission of making more and stronger disciples of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that's good. Um, and then there was another question that came in. They wanted to know, I guess, the practically, how can we practice surrendering to someone? How can we, um, it's a difficult thing to do. There's not just like an ABC list uh, of steps to take. And so in your opinion, what are some practical ways that we can actually submit ourselves to Jesus? Yeah, you know, when we're when we're surrendering to another, and in this case, mm -hmm. to the Lord, it, it means actually a denial of uh, of self, right. and 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 oftentimes more than a denial of self, a denial of other other things we've been surrendered to or yeah. slave to, and so I you know I mentioned this in the message, but many of us are slaved and surrendered to our mortgages. Mm -hmm. You know, others of us may be slaved or surrendered to a certain person that we're trying to impress, or it could even be a work-related uh, situation we're surrendered too much to to our jobs. Yeah. And so I'd say the first practical step is really let's acknowledge what we currently are surrendered to, mm -hmm. what we might be enslaved to, um, so that we really are seeing that step of release. Yeah. And then secondly, I would say this, one of the, one of the points um, that I mentioned in the message near the end is the importance of accountability, mm -hmm. the importance of opening up and, and sharing about your road to surrender with someone. Right. Uh, all throughout scripture, uh, you know, Jesus, Jesus very much told uh, his, his teachings in stories, in parables that mm -hmm. involved most of the time, mul multiple people. And oftentimes in our faith, I mean, we were not meant to do it in isolation. Right. Uh, God uses the voices of others to bring us closer to Him. And so I would just encourage someone who's really trying to determine how, how would I really move, move beyond obedience to surrender, to challenge themselves to be, to be fully open and fully vulnerable. And yeah. uh, as hard as it was even for myself to do that today, it's, it's one of the first paths to truly acknowledging God to see all of you. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, I mean, it's funny how a lot of times we don't realize how many things in this world are constantly demanding our allegiance mm -hmm. even. And when we do things like um, spend time in prayer or worship or even in our tithing, the choices we make, we make with our tithing, that's us declaring our allegiance in a way and saying, um, you know, we're surrendering ourselves to you and not to our mortgage, not to all these different bills and not giving our time to all these other things that aren't worthy of it, but we're giving it to Jesus alone. And so that's really helpful, especially in, in community where the community can help kind of cover those blind spots that might, we might not be able to recognize absolutely. on our own. That's absolutely uh, vital. Mm -hmm. and, and the final question um, uh, comes down to a lot of times we have a 
difficult time recognizing what is obedience versus surrender. So mm -hmm. how do we know when we're acting out of obedience mm -hmm. um, versus when we're acting out of surrender? Yeah. Well, I'll say this. It's really, as you read through the Old Testament, you know, pre-Jesus pre dying for our sins, the followers of God at that time, it was, it, it needed to be based on obedience. Mm -hmm. It needed to be based on, on the laws that were put in place. And so I'll say this about even um, acts of obedience, even even now as we're living in this, you know, post Christ, um, you know, He has died for our sins. We're living in a grace-based way. Obedience is still an important part of that step. And so, just as I shared my story, I, I believe that obedience. There's no way I possibly could have understood everything at 13 that mm -hmm. I needed to. Um, but we cannot stay in obedience. Right. And I would say, oftentimes, if we're trying to assess whether we are operating out of obedience, giving out of obedience or giving out of surrender. It's, it's that point of, uh, I'll use two words, vulnerability and all. Mm. You know, I think it's really neat. Faithbridge did the, uh, a couple years ago, the all in initiative yeah. and truly the heart of even that initiative, the word all it's, it's a surrendering word. I yeah. surrender all, but yet we rarely do. We rarely do. Yeah. I surrender one line item. <laughs> Even if it's a very large line item, right. we can feel really prideful about that. Mm -hmm. But true surrender, whether it's uh, talking in totality about our lives or, or what our sexuality or, or, or our obedience to the Lord, our study, our, our community groups, whatever it might be, true surrender, though, as it relates to our giving is is truly saying, God, you do have 100%. And so yeah. that's why that question that we talked about today, this what am I not giving and why is so mm -hmm. important because otherwise we will operate and never feel like we're ever giving enough if we right. build it what we are doing. Yeah. But when we ask God that conversation about what we aren't doing, it reveals the areas that aren't surrendered, right. even if maybe we've, <laughs> we, we've been obeying into a high degree. Right. Absolutely. That's incredibly helpful. Thank you so much. And thank you, Julie, for being here with us. It was wonderful having you. Your sermon was incredible. And thank you, uh, everyone that is tuning in. We will see y'all next week. Thanks for joining us for PostScript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.